Hello and welcome back to Valley Spring. We today are harvesting the fields. Budgie seed going around the first headland now. It is Decent sized field this one, so I hope to get a load or two of seed off it. Yeah, the last of the fields to combine this year. Uh, it should. This will be just have the disc come down and winter wheat in. The field we're ploughing near the yard will be winter wheat. got the Pottinger plough back and the plough must have worked great. to this headland. Not going to get a lot off here, I don't think. Already going around the second headland and not even half a tank yet. May well leave the combine over here. A 
for the winter because it will want to be in here next harvest <coughs> yield which yeah you can expect it it's had no fertilizers or anything added to it I don't think so previous owner of the farm obviously wanted to leave some crops going to maximize the price of the farm when he sold it didn't want to go to the expense of fertiliser Redlands done. going to be almost around this final headland although we may just keep going round no straw to talk of you can see bits and bobs of straw coming out Ah yes, he's on his way. So he's working fine. Oh, wow. 
combine. Our car to drive uh, from the job centre is arriving. got the millet harvested, we've rescued the worker off the 135 to save us a bit of money to struggle up these hills but it can make it it's been up before so we will empty the combine drop the header onto the header trailer And then we shall get on one of the John Deere's and start mowing the grass up here. Winter wheat can be drilled next month, so <coughs> that will be good for us then. Uh, we have got some new rolls for roll in the grass uh, combine can go in that shed we will take this back when we get to the night Sat there. Now yep, we just drop the header trailer. Can be reversed into where the combine is. sticks out a bit it doesn't matter as long as the head is on the cover that can 
be dropped off, that can park there till we take it back to the farm at the 135 yard that can go back to the farm tonight and we can get sheep as much grass as we can now for the rest of the day. We've got October to drill the winter wheat so we can use the rest of September to make A. itself is a fairly big field uh, this should get enough hay for the sheep we've got <coughs> even though we've got two fields over here <coughs> not sure where the other field is uh, the other side other side of the farm in mill it went well could have done with a bit more thick grain off it but it'd be fine we'll 
soon be around the first breed of the field. We will do some tedding tomorrow and rake it up and bale it the next day. Back to realistic now, we've got some hay for the cattle. continue on doing this for the rest of the day now I think we'll see how much hay we can make before we need to get the land work for the two fields of winter wheat we've also got a field of sugar beet to harvest later <coughs> That itself, I think, will be a day or two's work. It's a fairly big field we've got for that. But anyway, we will see you at half past three and see how things is panning out. Uh, we're slowly getting through this grass now. Still got a lot to do in this field. This mower, not the quickest. It will be replaced next year with the with another class mower like we've got over at the dairy farm. But for this year, we need to get at least this one field mown for a for the sheep. We are thinking about making some grass silage as well to get some mix going. We have swapped the Holsteins out for Jersey cattle. giving the John Deere a bit of work with this mower. have a look and see what small mixer wagons there are to make either silage or forage for the cattle get this field cut today and started on the other fields over at the dairy farm
may have to take a loan out to get the equipment for silage another day anyway as you can see it's grass is yielding well over here on the sheep farm as well it's, it's in the green so we're going to get a lot of bales off this one field <coughs> may plough the other grass field up, don't think we'll need it for the sheep Most of the way around the field is good grass, probably why it's down to five mile an hour to be fair. Next year will be better, we won't be in a rush or a panic to get it all done should be able to start April or May and start getting the grass cut By the time you join us back towards the end of the day, we'll just about have this field cut if it isn't cut. got a lot of money and at the minute the cows aren't producing any milk so I have to see how they go when we get the silage if they're not going to produce milk we shall sell them and buy some beef cattle That would be a bad idea to have some beef cattle. It's one thing we haven't done in farming simulators yet. Well, not in 2022. just where we are I may just keep going with this for a few minutes longer it's 
already nearly half past four, so won't be long before it's dark. Looks like it's going to cloud over later. Hopefully, tomorrow is going to be fine. Yeah, we will have a bit of a jump and come back towards the end of the day. So you can see us get through a bit more of it later. It's a shame this mower's so slow. As I say, next year different matter starting earlier to make the A and everything and We will have another class mower like the one we've got at the dairy farm for next year. Uh, on to the last segment, we've got that field over at the sheep farm done. Uh, we just started. first of our fields here at the dairy farm gate there needs closing there we go rusty old gate but does its job Get a bit of this mowing and then I'll get all this mowing rest of today and tomorrow. It's just a small field. grass isn't yielding the best, not like it was over on the sheep farm. Uh, it shouldn't take too long getting through this field at least. Still thinking about borrowing some money and getting some silage on the farm This is just a small field that we will get it done first and out the way. It is almost night now. Uh, we should be able to get the rest of this. mowing nicely Let's go down a gear because 
just a small field, a little bit awkward to go at full speed the mower will work at. Did bring the 135 here so we can dump the grain into the silo on the way home tonight. Quick little field, this. Guess we're already almost halfway through it. A little bit awkward, but it's fine. Go around from one side to the other, I think. The easiest way with it being a small field. Get a few bales of hay off here to add to what we've got. Get this one done, that's three fields in a sense harvested, or well, three fields at least cut today. Just 
we're going to get this field done today. that field done. Let's open the gate and head to the next field which is up the roadway here. No, we don't own that. to find out how we get to the other fields. First time we've done them. They are actually behind us somewhere, so one we mowed. Where is it down the end? Do we have to go through somebody else's field to get to our land? to go through the sugar beet field to get to it. But anyway, for today, that is where we're going to leave you. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment if you are new to the channel and you'd like to see more of what we do here please subscribe to the channel if you give that bell a ring it will tell you when our content is available until you join us again next time thank you very much for watching hope you enjoy the rest of your day goodbye for now